Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So we are on to episode 3 of our Shepherd Challenge. So the first one that I'd like to show you guys is given by Johnny. He asked me to use 1 Golem, 1 Lava Hound, 6 Balloons, 15 Minions, 2 Healers, 6 Hawks, 6 Wall Breakers, 7 Wizards, 12 Barbarians, and 2 Rich Spells. However, after counting, it totaled up to 235 slots. I could only use 7 Barbarians instead. So just going ahead with the attack. And of course, I didn't use um, both my Rage because uh, honestly speaking, having Rage spells is rather strong. But of course, uh, depending on what kind of troops you bring, especially if you have a really strong tanking uh, troop like the Golem itself, it's um, very good to tank against the damage itself because most of the damage here are splash damage other than the ones in the middle which is the Teslas and also the two Archer Towers which deal great damage to the Golem itself. So I'm really glad some of you guys have been understanding how this series actually works and actually been giving me a lot of army combos to try out. So much so that I'm unable to try out all because I've received like more than 10 over comments to try out the army combos which I actually um, have read, met the requirements that I set. However, I apologize to those people whose comments didn't get chosen because I usually choose around 5 rates per episode. So I repeat again, 5 rates per episode. If I see like more than 5 um, comments that have more than the army combos that I actually looked at, of course I can't choose more than 5 because it would just be too tiring and too taxing and also time consuming to do all. But of course you guys have been giving me a lot of uh, good suggestions, good um requirements too so some of them like uh, I've seen uh, some of you guys have not been uh, reading the description properly some of you have still been saying to ask me to try all wall breakers all healers etc so I think um, you guys should actually read the description as to what this series is all about as to how to improve the comments below and I'll look into it so the second one was given by Mr. Baller he actually asked me to use one golem 15 wall breakers 30 goblins 30 barbarians 30 archers 1 lava hound 2 healers 4 giants 1 minion and asked me not to use any CC troop or heroes however if you look at the army combo that I have I'm actually allowed to only use 2 spells and of course no heroes because I'll be having a golem and a lava hound Two spells because minus one spell from using two healers, one golem, and one lava hound. So other than that, I will be able to use CC troops because I didn't set that CC troops aren't uh, available to use as that would not be very fair for me as the army camp will be reduced. So yeah, please stop asking me to not use CC troops. So CC troops of course is harder to use as compared to having the army camps to control the troops deployment because all the troops will be all focused at one spot especially later if you see the very last raid I'm going to show you guys um, one of the person he asked me to use 20 archers in my CC which actually if I had used it in my army camp it would be way better because I could split up the archers rather than focusing the 20 archers all at one particular spot so yeah, we will look at the attack spells itself. Um, now uh, the giants are just attacking it through, being healed by the two healers. Now the air bombs has just came out to take out some of the pups. Uh, pups are really useful, especially in this uh, base itself because uh, they don't get taken out that uh, quickly because once the wizard tower has gone down, the only thing that can take them out are practically the air defense and the archer tower. But usually the archer tower just goes down way before the pups do appear. So yeah, now uh, dropping the jump spell. He asked me to use one lightning spell and one jump spell. I've used them both. So just trying out my luck using the jump spell, trying to get my troops going over. Healers just healing a bit, not doing too much uh, damage. And then after that, just speeding it up a bit because I'm just left with a golem. So the golem just continuing and uh, destroying the whole base. Like what I said before, there's no time limit to single player map. So just taking as uh, long as I want. Then after that, the golem just tanking the damage, just slowly destroying the remaining structures. Just doing one more hit to the last building and getting us that particular 3 star. So the next one was submitted by our infamous baby Carl. He asked me to use 30 barbarians, 30 archers, 30 goblins, 5 giants, 2 valkyries, 1 healer, 1 witch, 3 loons, 3 hawks, 1 lava hound, and 8 minions. However, the total up to 233, so I minus 1 of the each tier 1 troops. And then baby Carl also asked me a question which is how many gems do I spend in a regular day of pushing? So pushing what? I mean, there's only one thing to push, right? So, cut pushing, obviously. So, depending on how long I take to find a base, to be honest, uh, the cost of gems depends. And, of course, depends on whether do I instant my troops right after I find a raid, after I'm done with a raid, actually. 
So it depends, like maybe in a day I spend like around 1,000 to 2,000 gems. But uh, on some days when I'm really lazy and I do not play that often, I usually spend around 500 to 1,000 gems. So that's per day basis. So other than that, also gems have been also been used to instant my troops to give to donate troops to my um clanmates, especially those who are in urgent need of troops, especially those who really want to uh push trophies like crazy. So usually I just jam up like we witches for them because in my army combo I do not have any witches available for them. I usually have lava hounds, uh loons, and in fact minions only. So for those people who are requesting like uh, witches, pekkas, etc, I will usually jam it up for them. So that adds up to the cost too. So if you're just talking about just pushing a loan, it's around 500 to 1000 per day. But if it's uh, additional of the cost of donation wise to my clanmates too, it's maybe around 1000 to 2000. That's when I'm in a lazy mood. However, when, when I'm in a rush mood and I'm just instanting everything out for maybe a uh, say six hours of clouding i maybe spend around um 2000 itself and for your info baby carl i'm waiting for your second question so the next one was submitted by michael jackson uh definitely not the real michael jackson because he's not here anymore so michael jackson with a tad display pic so he asked me to use 30 goblins 30 archers 30 barbarians and 15 wall breakers Two healers, 11 minions, 6 giants, 1 lava hound, and barbarian king. And also to only use jump spell. So yeah, jump spell is really fun. So I was able to use 3 spells for this uh, particular army combo that he has given me. And also asked me to use my barbarian king, which I was allowed to use because I only brought 1 lava hound, no dragons, and no um, golem itself. So using my barbarian king is really neat. Especially with 3 jump spells, I was thinking how to utilize them, especially when I had... 15 wall breakers with me so obviously the wall breakers would just break through the wall and didn't have to use any jump spell then i was thinking to myself hmm, maybe i could just have a little fun just poke a little fun just drop three jump spells making a mickey mouse head over there and then hopefully the troops will just jump everywhere just going all haywire hopefully just clearing everything out in their path so later when you see the barbarian king just keep observing the barbarian king he will do something really interesting just jumping on the wall like a madman so just continuing the raid, and then after the healers, just healing the Barbarian King at the back. Not doing uh, too much damage to the Barbarian King because there ain't many uh, strong defenses uh, going towards him. Especially with a Barbarian King with so high of a uh, HP, around 6,000 over uh, hit points. It's rather hard to get him down, especially with such a high damage dealing a uh, troop too. So I don't think you guys, uh, it's a good idea to let me use my heroes. Yeah, otherwise, uh, just clear this base really easily. So as mentioned also, the... Um, Troop housing space will decrease as the episode increase too. So we will see as how we go once the housing space reach to like 100 or maybe even the 80 or whatsoever. So the next challenge was submitted by Beast Bomb. Initially, I was thinking not to put this as one of the raids because I've already chosen 5 raids. The last one later you guys are going to watch is actually the 5th one. So why did I choose this raid was because he detailed it out, listing all the stuff in a very detailed manner. So I really want to thank him for that particular effort itself. If you guys want to take a look at the comment itself, go and look for his name. He wrote out every single thing in a very detailed manner. There's more to this. So yeah, he said 30 barbarians, 30 archers, 30 goblins, 15 wall breakers, 2 healers, 2 valkyries, 6 hog riders, 1 blabber hound, 2 giants, CC to use 1 pekka, 1 valkyrie, and 1 wall breaker, spells 1 rich, and 2 freeze. Unfortunately, when he asked me not to use any heroes, it was kind of wrong because I will only use 1 lava hound. So technically speaking, I was able to use one hero. However, just to have a little fun, I didn't use any heroes at all. Just attacking accordingly to what he actually wanted. And then in my CC, he has kindly asked me to use one Pekka. So of course, that had really helped a lot uh, doing this raid. It was rather uh, easy, didn't have much trouble with it. Other than the next one that I'll be showing you guys, that I had really, really a lot, a lot of trouble getting past that. And... I would like to thank the next person who actually gave me that. That was really a nice challenge. So yeah, in a few more seconds, you guys will actually watch that. So yeah, just carrying on this raid, uh, just using my freeze in a nice manner, just ending up with that two free spell. So yeah, getting the three star. So the next one was submitted by Olaf471. So if we just take a moment to look at the army combo that he has given me, two healers, 15 wall breakers, 30 goblins, seven wizards, two witches, lava hound one, 30 barbarians, 1 dragon, 10 archers, and in my CC, 20 archers, and 3 balloons. To be honest, when you guys look at it, it doesn't seem that of a difficult 
army combo to use, right? However, trust me on this, I spent like roughly 20 to 25 tries trying to get the 3 star for this particular army combo itself. In fact, I had to get my CC a lot of times requested like 20 archers and 3 balloons. When I was in my clan SG gladiators, I was requesting for 3 balloons, 20 archers. And some of them, they were asking me, um, am I using a new army combo? Like, am I using it to attack or am I using it for donation or whatsoever? So they're asking me like weird questions as to why am I keep requesting just this particular army combo, 20 archers, 3 balloons. Then I was telling them about this Sherbert challenge that I was having a big trouble with. I requested more than like 20 over times. Few of them were asking me, am I going crazy using it? Um, this CC to attack in Champions League. Then I was telling them I was on shield, so I couldn't go and attack. So I was trying to complete this Sherbert challenge. In fact, when I did it a few times, I even had to do it on my iPad because my iPad, I usually play much better on my iPad. Whenever I'm doing all these raids, I'm recording on my phone itself. So when I did it on my iPad, I managed to got it done three start like twice. And twice it was like after like 20 over tries. So it was kind of difficult. I was trying to attack from different angles here and there. And finally, I got the right angle to deploy the troops in a particular manner at a particular time for a particular type of troop. So like for example, if you take a look at it previously, I deployed my CC quite late. I didn't want to deploy them too early because the archers, when they come out too early, they will just get killed by the motas itself. But nevertheless, this is a challenge and any difficulty level is welcome. So yeah, three star Olaf. So I'm still a human, actually not a god yet. So the next episode, I'll be doing a little tweak. Instead of reducing it by five housing space, we're going to reduce it by 10 housing space. So from 230, we're going to reduce it to 220 housing space for the next episode. Because some of you guys have stated in the comments that minusing five housing space to reach like 180 or 150 housing space will just take too long. And I totally agree with that. So we're going to minus 10 housing space per episode. So yeah, the next one, we're going to be at 220 housing space. So do stay in the comments what kind of army combo you guys would like me to try out with the 220 housing space. And of course, do give me feedback on this series alone as I'll be making improvement on it if you guys want me to. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.